Rajendra and in this particular video we are going to understand what are the steps we need to take care when you want to containerize any application right so we already discussed what is containerization so just to recap let me just uh, show you the containerization how it looks like so basically in a containerization what happens is on the any hardware will have operating system and on top of that operating system we install a runtime engine called a docker and then with the help of that docker we create multiple containers right and every container will have a mini os then the all the dependencies and the application right so this is what will be there for each container so now to create this particular package in fact we call this as a image what all steps we need to do so what we'll do is we'll take one simple python application example we'll understand what is the requirement we have for this application and then how we can containerize this application so let me first show you the application it's a very simple so you can see here this is a simple python application which is actually creating one simple python web service which is running on port 8080 and if someone just try to access this application this application will just return an message that hello from container world this is a very simple application so let's understand what is the requirement for this application so first of all we need to know what would be the environment required for this application so this environment could be anything it's up to the client requirement that we want to run it on a ubuntu or any any uh, ubuntu version or any other uh, linux distribution right so now let's consider this application we want to run it on a ubuntu 2004 right then what next uh, requirement we have is we should have a python installed on that then we should have a one of the python package called flask we also need that to be installed right so if we have this much requirement available if we have any system you can just uh just run this application like python uh, let's say app.py and your application will start running and you have to just access this application like curl localhost colon 8080 and that will reply hello from container world right now we want to containerize this application right so what all steps we need to know so let's try to understand that so before writing those steps or understanding those steps let's try to understand docker architecture so basically in a docker there are three things that are involved so let's try to understand first so the first thing that we need to understand is a docker client what is docker client the second thing we call it as a docker host okay or we call this as a docker server or we call it as a docker daemon as well so any of the name we can use it and then the third thing is docker registry so these are the three things we need to first understand what it is so basically docker host or docker server or docker daemon is nothing but a one system where docker is installed so installing docker is not a big deal just you need to use a package manager and then like let's say you are having a ubuntu system so apt is a package manager for ubuntu so you can simply do apt install docker and docker will be installed right so once docker is installed now to access this docker either you will have a docker client available on that same system or it could be installed on some other system as well so you just need to configure the server details and from other system also you can access this right so most of the time we end up uh, having this docker client on the same system where we have a docker server or docker host is installed right so docker client is utility just that will help us to interact with our docker server right now let's come back to our application so now we want to containerize our application we know that what all requirement we have so first thing that we need to know or first thing that we need to do if you want to containerize application is to write a docker file so docker file is nothing but it's a set of instructions and we have some standard or predefined instructions 
so we just need to use those instructions and by using those instruction we need to specify okay so for example let's say from instruction so we have a instruction called from so this from instruction we can use to just specify what mini os we want let me use a different color here which mini os you want which mini os you want for your application right so let's say from where you can specify let's say i want ubuntu 2004 so you have to just specify what mini os want then on top of that then the we have next instruction called run so this run instruction will help us to install all the dependency on top of this base os okay or we call it as a mini os as well so like we need to install python then we need to install flask or to install this flask we again will require a python package package manager called pip so by using run instruction we can just install all the dependency of our application then we have a copy instruction which will help us to copy our application code let's say app.py into the inside this mini os let's say we are copying insert into the slash tmp directory then what we need to do is by default now this is a mini os by default all the ports of that uh, mini os would be closed so now our, our application is running on 8080 right we have seen that in our application code so for that we need to expose or we need to open the port that particular 8080 port that is what we need to specify here and then at the end we need to specify a command that you want to run as soon as our container starts so that's let's say slash tmp that is where we are copying our app.py right so that is what we need to specify here right so in the docker file and the docker file name should be starting with a capital d so this is a requirement so in this docker file we are just adding a set of instructions that is those instructions are specifying that what is the environment required for my application what all the dependencies required for my application on which port it is running and what is the command that we want to run so everything we need to specify in this docker file once you specify or uh, once you write the docker file with the help of docker file we need to create and docker image right so for that from docker client we run a docker build command and to run this docker build command we pass this docker file as an argument right so this docker build command will take this docker file as an argument and then from that it will create an image from that it will create an image on the docker host machine now once this image is ready what we need to do is we have to use another docker instruction or docker command called run so that run instruction will create a container from the image so now what is the difference between your container and image so this container is nothing but just a running instance of your image container is nothing but just a running instance of your image right so once you run this your container would be running and inside that automatically your this particular process will run right and then if you want to access this simply you just need to do curl and then the local host and we need to specify the port so there is something called as a port binding we need to do it but that will see practically once we see the practical for this particular example we'll see there how we can do the port binding and all so if you want to access this application simply do curl localhost and port 8080 you should be able to access it right so now by using docker build command we created an image which contains the base os all the dependencies you have up your application and then application and then we just created an image and then when you use a docker run along with this particular image a container will be created okay now if you are creating a container on the same machine where we have a image you can simply use a docker run command but if you want to 
share this particular image to any other developer or other team in that case what we need to do is we need to push that image on some network storage okay and that network storage we call it as a docker registry now this docker registry could be a private or public so now it's completely our requirement whether our code is proprietary or open source if it is open source definitely you can go ahead and use the public registry but if it is a private one it's a better to set up your own private registry right and what we can do is once your image is ready you can just by using a docker push command you can push that image to that registry and then any other developer who wants to use that image he can simply what we can do is by using docker pull command he can pull that image on that machine and then once that image is pulled again we can use a docker run command and we can create a container so this is the basic flow we have to containerize in any application now there are lot of other docker commands are there to start the container to stop the container to uh, restart the container to pause unpause container to see the current usage of the compute resources that container is doing so there are lot of commands are available right so we'll see those all those commands directly practically right so here one more thing that we need to see is there are a lot of other commands like if you want to just change the image name you want to create an alias for that we have a docker tag command if you want to save the uh, instance of running container as an image we need to use a docker commit command so there are a lot of other commands are available so we'll see that in the next video with a proper practical right so that's it for this video where we just try to understand the flow complete flow if you want to containerize any application okay there is nothing apart from this we need to know right so just to recap what we have seen is if you want to containerize an application you need to first write a docker file where you will specify what environment what dependencies what your source code on which port is running uh, which command you want to run that everything you just need to specify here in your docker file then using docker build command just will get the image by using docker run command we'll create a container and our application will be running inside this container if you want to share this image with someone else we just need to use the docker push push command that push command will push the image on the registry that could be a public private depending on our use case so other team or developer can just use docker pull to get that image and they can just by using docker run command they can start it right so that's the flow that we have to containerize the uh, any application so i hope everyone like the video and understand this particular uh, flow so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks everyone